This one? Uh-uh. That's no way that one's going to outflow this one. I really wish I had a flow bench. I really wish I had some numbers for you. But this is going to have to do, y'all. Let's hope it works. Or I'm out 20 bucks of Play-Doh. in the wide, wide world of Play-Doh is going on here, you're probably asking yourself. So there's been an age-old debate on which manifold's better. We have the older manifold here, and we have the newer 93 and up manifold here. The debate is, which one's the best? We've already cleaned these manifolds. We've uh, sprayed some WD-40 in them after we degreased them. And now, we're going to attempt to stuff some Play-Doh in them so that we can pull the Play-Doh out and show you all the bottlenecks on both of these. If we can get the Play-Doh out of the damn... Really? So, it'll be a busy day. <laughs> are turbo exhaust manifolds from two different areas of Volvo. This one right here is the old 80s model uh, found on the red block four cylinders. This right here is the newer 90s model found on the red block turbo four cylinders. These are both turbo exhaust manifolds. scope camera I could show you a little bit better what's going on inside of here if I had a plasma cutter I'd cut this thing off and show you but basically what's going on in here is a huge channel like this and you see it right there and that channel is choking this thing off in cylinder three something fierce something wicked right other than that manifold looks all right flows pretty good has a lot more open space in there than it does in here, with the exception of these areas right here. These choke down a lot more in this manifold than they do in this manifold. This manifold's more equally open on all the channels. And so right off, we can tell a couple things. This one's gonna flow more right off, just looking at these exit holes for the turbo, depending on what the hole looks like inside the turbo. You see how these runners are curved like a spider? Well, it's pretty interesting because these are kind of curved, but not really. What's interesting is this manifold sticks out further than that one. So if you want a turbo that fits a little snug to the block, this is your manifold for it. Not this one. Because this turbo, this puts the turbo almost four inches off the block. He 
in conclusion, we found the 90 and up manifold is the best manifold indeed. It flows the best, it swirls the best, and it has the least amount of restrictions. Older manifold has the worst restrictions in it, in the number three, but it also caused it to swirl pretty significantly different, didn't it? Air compresses, but water doesn't. So water, you can see how it reacts. So you know what to do to keep your terrible world. Hit that bell and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next week.